first one, you can see it's x plus 7 equals 12. And if you're learning about equations, you know that the left side and the right side have to be equivalent. They have to be the same. They have to be equal. So whatever you do to the one side of the equation, you want to do the same thing to the other side. You can think of this as like an imaginary dividing line, okay, separating the left and the right sides. We want to get our variable by itself. Okay, that's our mystery number. That's our unknown. And to do that, we have to get rid of the 7. Now, whenever you want to get rid of something, you want to do the opposite. So if you're adding, you want to subtract. If you're subtracting, you want to add. If you multiply, you divide. If you divide, you multiply, and so on. So for this problem, you can see we're adding 7. Plus 7 is like adding 7. We're going to subtract 7 from both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. I like to show the work as I do these problems. And I like to draw a line. And then just go ahead and add straight down. So this will give us x. This is going to give us 0. You don't have to write 0. That's nothing. And then this equals 12 plus a negative 7, which is 5. And that's it. We've got it. If you want to check your work with these one-step equations, or any equation for that matter, go ahead and take that quantity, put it back into the original equation, and you can see 5 plus 7 equals 12. Now, in the beginning, it's easy just to guess what these values are. But we're going through the steps we're learning, because as we get into the multi-step equations, it's going to be harder to guess what those answers are. So let's go into another example. Here we have y divided by 3. So when you see that fraction bar, that's just like uh, division. That's like divided by. So y is divided by 3, and that equals negative 4. So what's the opposite of dividing? Multiplying. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by 3, okay, times 3. And you can see those 3's are going to cancel, because multiplying and division are opposites. They cancel one another out. And so now you can see you have y equals negative 12. And that's it. If you want to check your work, you can put negative 12 back in. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. OK, next example, we have 2 times y. Now, they're right next to each other, OK, without anything in between. So we know that they're multiplied together. We want to get the y by itself. So we say, hmm, what's the opposite of multiplying by 2, dividing by 2? Whatever we do to the left, we want to do to the right to keep it balanced, like a teeter-totter, right? These are going to cancel out, and we get y equals 9. Okay, let's go over here to example number 4. Here we have d minus 7 equals negative 5. Okay, so minus 7 is like subtracting 7. Okay, the opposite of subtracting 7 is to add 7. Again, we want to do it to both sides. So the negative 7 and 7 cancel. We get d equals 2. Now, I just want to make a point right here. At this point, sometimes students get a little bit confused. They see the negative 5 and the 7, and they're used to seeing them horizontally instead of vertically like this. So what I recommend if you get a little bit confused by this is just to go ahead off to the side of your paper and just write negative 5 plus 7. Okay, and then you can analyze it from there. Just a different perspective. Okay, this one here now we're getting into two-step equations. Okay, so these next three examples, two-step equations. What you want to think about doing when you do two-step equations is you want to get the numbers on one side you want to get the variables or the letters on the opposite side. So you're trying to separate them. So here we have 2x and negative 5. I'm going to get the numbers on the right side of the equation. Okay, So you can think of that dividing line. To get rid of this negative 5, I'm going to do the opposite of subtracting 5. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So that gives us 2x equals 20. Now we always want to solve for just one of the variable. So the opposite of multiplying by 2 because these are right next to each other, that means that they're multiplied together, is to do the opposite, divide both sides by 2. You can see those are going to cancel one another out. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we get 1x equals 10. Now, if you go ahead and put the 10 back in, 2 times 10 is 20, minus 5 is 15, so we know we, we got the right solution. OK, now this one here, same idea. We want to get the variables on one side, the numbers on the opposite side. So to get rid of this negative 3 here, on the left, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. x divided by 2, these cancel out. That's 0. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. Again, just like this problem over here, you can write it off to the side if you're used to seeing it in that horizontal uh, orientation. Or you can go ahead and add straight down. Just remember, when you see a minus and a negative, those are interchangeable. When you see a plus or a positive, those are interchangeable. So we're just adding a negative 9 and a positive 3, and we get negative 6. Now again, when you see that fraction bar, that means divided by. 
So the opposite of dividing by 2 would be to multiply by 2. So I'm going to multiply the left and the right sides of the equation by 2. These are going to cancel one another out because they're opposites. And we get negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Again, just some little pointers here. You can see I'm showing each step as I go along. And I'm trying to keep my equal signs lined up to separate my left side of my equation from my right side. Okay, so are you with me so far? Okay, last example. I'm going to have a video on multi-step equations. Uh, you can check that out after this video. I'll have a link uh, to that. But this last example, we're just going to solve for x. We want to get the numbers on one side, variables on the other. We're trying to separate them. So I'm going to subtract 2 okay, from both sides of the equation. So we get negative x equals 6. Now, when you see this negative x, this is really like a negative 1 times x. So what's the opposite of multiplying by negative 1? Dividing by negative 1. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 1. Those are going to cancel one another out, and we get positive 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6, and you've got it. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my past videos. Give me a thumbs up and a like on this video if it helped you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon.